are all together. Okay, we will, we will start this. Uh, the workshop of today will be about the first times of Destreza, you know, of the system, of the Verdadera Destreza. And I call this for you, because I usually use this word, but it's in the... It's, it's the, 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 the guy is walking on it, so I, I try this for this workshop. This is good, it's perfect for this, but the only problem that have this word is have Oh yeah, this is good for this. Well, it's not important because at the end, yeah, it's very nice because at the same, it's, it's the same principle, you know. Probably this is the uh, middle of the 16th century. This can be a little bit later, but at the end, the important thing is they have not enough protection to the hand. And what is the reason because I said this? Thank you very much. And what is the reason because I said this? Because everybody knows more or less that the verdadera uh, estreza using the right angle and the right angle it's here you know so obviously if i stay here what is your target what do you prefer to attack in the first moment obviously because i have to expose my hand anyway if i am i am here in this position my hand is very protected obviously Anyway, it's a stupid idea I stay all the time here because maybe you can attack me directly, but you can attack me from down, from the upper side and from the side. But it means pro probably the translation of this is in the modern moments, in the modern moment of the stress, I can stay more time here, you know, and less time very far away. And in this case, I must stay more time here and sometimes I will be here, you know. So, some things change with the pass of the time. In the first moment, the guys of Destreza, of the Verdadera Destreza, remember that Destreza means skills. And the guy said, at the time said, my style is the true style. My skill is the true skill. The rest of the styles are false. This is the vulgar, you know, this is the idea of these uh, humble guys of the 16th century <laughs> and the first part of the 17th century. So, uh, in the first moment, they have the heritage of the fencing the fencing of the first part of the 16th century. This is a moment that they are changing the fencing, you know? So they use one finger over the kilons, not two. Everybody, the most of the people uh, talk about the, the Spanish grip is this, you know, with two fingers, but not at the first moment was with only one finger. So my point is in the morning, because probably I will don't remember the things like in the morning, because this is impossible for me, you know? <laughs> So we will do something different, probably. So take a little bit of a space, take a little bit of a space, and in the first moment only comes, check the movement to come here and move a little bit the point of the blade, and after change and put two fingers and come here and move a little bit the point of the point of the blade. I mean this, this kind of movement, you know? Try to do both things. You don't need mass right now, you don't need nothing. Try to do this and after we will stop a little bit and we will talk about. Come here one moment because uh, right now we will we will come the, the real exercise. But probably you can feel yourself stronger when you are using two fingers. And with only one finger, not too much. Makes sense. If I have two fingers, I'm much more strong. But my point is, can I to use? If I have two fingers, then I can stay here more time and be very strong. But I don't need to use two fingers because it's stupid to stay here too much time. You know, this is your first target. You will destroy my hand for sure. Of course, if I can show one guy here, you know, I will attack the hand for sure. These guys are using this, this grip, you know, only one finger. After step by step with these kind of things, more protection to the hand, step by step, the guys change. And the first book that we know something about two fingers is in the 39, 1639, the Adebietma said about, well, not he don't say nothing is only in a draw, but after they start to talk about two fingers. So our point right now will be, Mm, as in the morning, in the morning we started in this way, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have some memory. So we will start to move here and we will need to expelling a little bit the, expelling the, uh, the sword and the pommel mass arrive here. This is the real right angle, not this. This is not a real right angle. My shoulder is not relaxed. Here is relaxed. So you can come here and after you can try movements and try to adapt it 
your movement here. Because on the other hand, we must to say that the sword of this period are heavier. Not all, because we know that we can find in the old periods, we can find a lot of different things. Very light blades, very light weapons, or very heavy. But the usual way was much lighter in the last part of the 17th century and the first part of the 18th century. But in the 16th and 17th century, first part, the blades, the blades and weapons, are a little bit more massive and more heavier. So our point is try to adapt our, our body to move the weight of the sword, you know? Not do this, because if I am doing this, my arm is absolutely separate from my body. But if I'm moving here, then I'm pushing with the weight of my body, with the muscles are pushing the sword. So try to connect it all the body. The next exercise will be sitting down and relaxing and levitation, levitation, you know, for connected more. I'm kidding. Let's go. To the... <laughs> Very good. But try to move to the sides. Imagine if you want, you can do one thing, you know, you can leave your rapier here. And this is the line. In the end of the, this line is your opponent. So, in the first moment, you can try to move without the sword, you know? And you are moving around the guides here, you know? And then you are beating the guy from here, boom! From here you can cut him. But the idea is be able to move around. For don't stay all the time doing this, you know, because this is nothing. The, my target, it's in the diameter line. So I come in and I'm attacking him or not. I'm only controlling him. It's not important to attack. The most of the people is a little bit obsessive with the attack. And the first moment, the first thing is not the attack, is the body mechanics. So you can do this, you know, bam, for understanding the movement. The guy is there all the time, you know, and you're moving a little bit around him. And after you take the rapier, and remember the guy it's here so do the same with the rapier you know controlling this space because it's important to know how to move in the square position to the to the left to the left for the right handers there are some left hander here yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we all always need to have one left hander for sure <laughs> maybe more <laughs> So yes, for, for you, obviously, it's to the left and to the right, it's the same. So try it again. But if you start only with the body, in this way, probably you have, you know, like a reference for moving, and it's better the next ideas about the footwork. So try to do this one moment. It's impossible to explain all the little details about the, about the extending, about all these kind of things, you know. So we will continue with the class because after step by step, we will talk about more details. The next idea will be for us, the idea of defending ourselves with the right angle. Uh, what is the right angle? The right angle is this position. This is the reason the people said, the Estefa guys said that this is the more longer position that you can have. Why? Because they're talking about fight mostly in the first times here not here or not here. For them, this idea is too much. This is not too much, but this for them is too much. You know, you know they said that you can stay in a, uh, you can lose your balance more easy, so you must stay more stable in this way. So this is the reason, because the conception of the right angle is the more longer position that you can have. So the most of the people, when we are doing this, are thinking in one attack, you know? But we don't need to use this always like one attack. If I'm fighting with Chris, in some moment I can use the right angle for that. Oh, be careful, guy. Imagine that he's controlling a little bit the fight, you know? And he's or myself, I'm controlling. And then in one moment he goes there, but leave the point in front of, of him. Bam, exp extend it. One, two, I said, oh, fuck. In, usually my reaction goes will be goes down. So try to move only only for one minute, moving, not attacking all the time, moving, stopping the, the imaginary guy, you know? Put, it, put Pay attention in this because this is important. When we are fighting, many times I will be here. Oop. Yeah, this is the idea because this is, oop, be careful guy, oops, oops. This is the idea, you know, only for half minute, no more. But in your brain is this idea of 
put the right angle in front of you for defend yourself. Of course, if I have one sword as, as crease, not mine because this is very safety, you know, but as we're talking, stay in the right angle is a danger for me. But use this idea in some moment is good. Try this, but with this idea, only half minute and after we will change the exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I know that I'm boring with this, you know, but we are talking about, about the first time of the Stretha. All the movements will be bigger than in the last, in the, in the modern period of the Stretha because the weapons are, I have no uh, good um, protection for my hand. And at the same time, usually they are heavier, not longer because the period in the period in Spain, there, there was a law and was a mandatory to use one length of, of the blade, but yes, more, I don't know, bigger and heavier. So what is the reason because we are using the right angle? For attack, for sure, but for, but for defense too. And I am using the strain, the straight, uh, the straight angle for defend myself. But if I am using the straight angle for defend myself, it's the better moment for try to control my blade for do one atajo because try to do one atajo do one atajo in my blade you know <laughs> maybe it's a little bit stupid for do one atajo in my blade at first in the first moment the guys was who are very very uh, modern because the guys were talking about the physical atajos and the virtual atajos you know using the computer is easy <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the virtual atajo and it's the conception it's it's the was used very in the modern times of the strata but was very old conception at the end it's close the lines you can feel how the guy goes to attack to this line you will stay here preparing you know but in the first moment they are talking about the physical atajos so uh, Chris need my sword for do one atajo. So in the moment that I am staying in this position, it's perfect for him for do one atajo and control my blade. So the next step is only this. You can move a little bit. You don't need right now the mask because nobody attacks. Nobody is attacking, you know, this is very important. So the point is don't move. Don't do this, oh, right angle, boom, oops, so sorry. No, right angle is in defense. I am defending myself. So for a start, we will move in this way. And in one moment, I will do this. And then he will control my blade and move one step. You can do six times in the left and six times in the right. And have to change the role, okay? But the movement is you are doing the right angle. Then you come here, control. Don't do nothing because after we will, we will do some things, you know. But only control the control the the opponent's blade. Probably we will need to explain some things about the atajo. But first, check a little bit. Okay, let's go. Come here for some explanation of this. Well, the thing is, talking about the atajos, you know, the the idea of the atajo. Um, come with me. Uh, the most natural for everybody, it's. I'm stronger controlling this line because I'm stronger here than here, you know. And in the case of the left-handers, there are two. You, <laughs> yes. For you, probably you feel stronger here, you know. The most usual atajos in the description of the first masters are inside and here and outside here. Obviously, we can do the opposite things. We can do this one, or we can do this, of course. Some guys like Figueredo, uh, uh, Figueredo is the, the, the Portuguese master author that in the first part of the 16th, 17th century, sorry, he said that no, 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 the atajo is always or here or here, but this fuck it because it's a stupid thing. This is the opinion of Figueredo because he was a very strong guy. This is not my opinion. You can do all the things as you want, but the idea is have the control. But so, you know, as you want to try, because it's true that the better atajo is inside because you are more strong. And the second one is because you are using all your body. You can consider this is they call the all and the part. If I'm doing this, I'm less strong than I, if I'm doing this, you know? You start with the outer left. Yeah, well, this is complex. We usually, the ideal is go with the left to the left, yeah. with the right to the right, okay. with, the, with the right to the right, with the left to the left. This is the ideal. But this is only theory because in the fight, 
who knows? Sometimes I need to come here, and sometimes I need to come here, you know? Who knows? But for a start to training, it's better to, to study the best and have to go to the other side. But we are talking, we will be talking about the height of the hand when we are doing one atajo. And we must remember that if I am doing one atajo, it's for control the blade of my opponent, not necessary for attack him. I mean that if I'm doing all the time the control of the blade here, for him, it's very, very easy to disengage and beat my hand. One, two, move around, move around. One, two, and beat. Try to do high, the, the height, you know, one attack in the height way. One, two, and I stay here. From the, we are fighting, he comes to, so he comes here, bam, bam, and I attack his hand. And even remember that in this moment, we have no protection. The protection of the crease sword is so minimal, but <laughs> includes, try to do this attack here, if something happens, it can go to the hand. So it makes sense that the idea of the attack for many reasons, it's here. Because the first thing is control the blade of my opponent. It's the most important thing, the most important thing. So, and even the other part, if I do in one dis disengage, no. You are doing the disengagement and beat me, but in this part. One, but move very far away. Use the left because always is better. One, two, control this for me is much more difficult, but control this is much more easier. One, two, no, no, attack uh, high, attack high. Remember, we have another different techniques for the attacks down. This is for atta the attack high, you know, the medium high. So when you attack in this way, I only need to do this, no more. Not this, only with my body, go fast. One, two, and I'm here, you know. I only turn my body from here, I turn in here. Obviously, in the real fight, I will use the arm, you know. But less, but less. If I am turning my body, I don't need to do this, you know. Because maybe I can parry the first one, two. Don't do the step, only do this. One, one, pass, two, three, it's more difficult, no, three. Three is more difficult for me. I said, as more far away is the arm from the central line, more difficult is the control. As more I can use my weapon for a stay behind, you know, something like one, and you pass down, exactly, attack me, let's go. No, no, start, start. And one and two, and I move only my body, it's much more better. You can move your arm when you are fighting. No, fuck, you need it, but not too much. And this is a good training. So try to do the attack high, the attack, sorry, the, the, the atajo, and the other guys beat a little bit in the, in the arm. And after we change and we do this exercise. From here, you pass, and from here, you know, only this. Remember that this guy is doing this because he is not entering in the distance because it's very dangerous from him. You are doing one atajo, one atajo here, and I move for beat you here, not here. One, two, because this is close to my face too, you know? So try to do, the, to do this exercise and after we will talk about this. Let's go. You don't need mask because nobody is attacking. My point is, do the atajo. My point is from here, to here, maybe to the hand, maybe to the hand from here, and you, to you can touch the hand a little bit in this way. Come here one moment, because it's important this, you know? Uh, we are talking about some positions that is very important, because I'm talking about the extended my arm and touch my opening. So, when Chris entry, usually, we will try to move around our opponent. In this moment, we are talking about fight one diestro against another diestro, not one diestro against an Italian, you know? One Spaniard fencer in the school of the Verdadera Destreza, because the other Spaniard fencers in the school of the Bulgar and the, are doing different things, but we are talking about the true skill. So, the, this is cool. So, my point is, is, if Chris is coming here, a little bit too high, then I will come, sorry, do it again, please. One, I will do this, but look my position, is this position. It's not this position, it's not this. One and two, you know, I'm extending my arm. Then it's important that I said to you before, you know, is the use of the idea of the right angle. The right angle is here, it's not here. 
right angle is here. We have something like a, the guys call this the channel of the wrist, you know, this position. So you must, you must have in this moment the, um, the pommel in the channel of the wrist. You are not strong, but this is the most extended extending position that you have and at the same time is the more flexible because when you stay here you are very flexible so if he try to control for example do this is stupid you know but when I start I pass it here you know when how must be the atajo usually you try to control here Brr, too many conception here if I try to control here disengage and beat me you know Let's do this. One, I have no time, I have no space. If I stay here, and here doing this, I can, I can, I can have space enough, or includes, I can control in this way, but not from here. So the engagement starts in the central part of the blade. If the engagement starts in the central part of the blade, bam, then I have space enough. If you start here, then it's stupid to stand with my arm, you know? If you start to try to control this, I will do different things. But if you start there, okay, I can do this. After, it's your problem. If you have the, you have the control, you will continue having the control. But in this case, the most clever for me is to do this. So, we will extend in, and after, we will flexible from here to here. And then our kilons probably will be from the perpendicular to the diagonal position and after do this do it three times more each 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 uh, one of the couple and after come back because we will change the things okay let's go go here one moment we need to understand the body mechanics you know <clears throat> and we will try to do like in the morning uh, we will fight because the idea our idea of fight the destreza is a medium distance system it means that there are other systems like the modern Italians and the postmodern Italians are talking about uh, Capoferro and these guys, you know, that are using very far away or includes the modern Neapoli Roman Neapolitan school. They are a little bit more far away all the time. But the Destreza is like the second period of the Italian, like Di Grassi and all these guys fighting a little bit more here, probably, you know. Then this is the idea. When we are fighting, we are not here. We are not here far away we are here we are controlling the other so if we try to control then we are in this position not in this position and sometimes when we will move to this side we extending so the next step is leave the rapier and try to fight as i said in the morning like the cats you know, a little bit in this way so the point is try to control the other and try to move to the sides and be careful because it's not <laughs> yeah this is the idea and try and then you are moving here because here is a little bit stupid no, you, you move in a normal way but i'm moving here you know i'm moving here to boom 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 because you need to have control so fight a little bit this position remember that if i have um, a right hander this is my main weapon if i have a left hander this is my main weapon you know you can use both like a rapier and dagger, but this is the main rape, uh, the main weapon. And if you are using, you are fighting with a rapier and something happens, you will use your left to do the things, you know, but never stay here with a hand, except you have a male glove or something like this, but this is not the case. So let's go one moment to try in this way. Okay. <clears throat> So we, right now we will try to understand this movement with the rapier, with the, with the sword, you know. So the point is, in a couples, we will try to do some things like this, and in some moment I will do this, and you will do one attack. It's not necessary one attack, not necessary, but I mean, I will do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do, I said, not necessary one, but here, and then move with attack, okay. And then move with attack, yeah. Do the, put the, when you do the right angle when you want. Okay, move with one atajo. Pam, move with one atajo. The same. Maybe move with one atajo. Maybe move with one atajo here. Or I said because I moved to the four place, you know. From here, from here, from here, and from here. Up to you, it's not important. But our idea right now is the same. I'm moving here. 
when he is doing this, I'm moving here, not here. Because if you pass, I move in the, and you pass to this side. One, two, for me it's very difficult because to do this movement is very difficult. If I'm moving in the square, one, then for me it's very easy. But right now, don't pay attention in this. Only move in the square position, you know, only in the square position. And it's not, it's not one attack. I said this because if I want to attack Chris, we are moving in this way. I want to attack and attack very deeply. Probably I will beat him because he can attack to me. What happens in a fight? When I am fighting against Chris, I, I'm a little bit of afraid about his reaction. If he only can protect himself, I'm not afraid. I attack in the most deeply. So for him it's much more difficult, but this is not equal, it's not real. Because when we are fighting, this guy can attack when you, he wants, you know? But I know that he is waiting for me. So, okay, oh, let's go, boom, and beat him. It's very easy. This is the reason that I, I said, you are giving Chris one line. You are not attacking him, you know? You are giving your companion one attack. So it's not important right now to do only this or maybe to do this, you know? I attacking a little bit, but I attacking without intention to beat him only for give a line. And the idea is try to move all the time in the quadrangular position, you know, all the time from here to here, from here to here, not to here. You need to move to this side, cross the legs, not move in this way. So try this, try slowly for pay attention to the footwork, okay? Let's go. So let's go to see something. Come with me one moment, please. Um, right now, the point of the Tahoe, in the theoretical way, because the most of us, when we are fighting, we will do these kind of things, you know? Okay, I know that this happens because we are not perfect, but it's much more better when the Tahoe is performing in this way. Because remember, the Tahoe is only the control of the opponent's plate. It's not necessarily one attack. But then we will do one attack right now. We will do this movement. This is the signal. I come here and after I will attack his face, you know? As we have a mask, you can do this, touch a little bit, not beat too much, only touch. So the idea is this. You can do in a static uh, position only during, I don't know, 10 times one and the other, the other 10 times, but in this way, one, you, one, two, and touch the mask in the second. Obviously, my left part for you is the, your right part. Nothing more. And after this, 10 times and 10 times, then we will try to do this in a dynamic way. But my point is one, two, or more or less, yes, one, two, three. And I said one, two, three. Not one, two, three, or not uh, one, two, three. It's one, two, because first we are creating one clean space, you know? What is the distance of the step? What happens if I an entry here? One. First, I have no a lot of space for beat him. But if I enter in here, and this guy are doing this and that, one, boom, and that, do, this, do the same faster. One, I'm dead. I have no space for do nothing. But if I'm moving, don't, move, don't do the, 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 if I come in here, I have a space enough for beat him. Maybe I do in this, maybe I advance. But if from this position you beat me, come to beat me, you know? One, for me it's very it's easy to do this. From this distance, no, from this distance, I have no possibilities because the guy will attack. But from this distance, and look that the point is different, then I can do this movement, you know, and can be safe. Because we are, we can consider in this kind of atajo, this, not all the atajo, but this kind of, of, of atajo was about something like one approximation, safety approximation to the opponent. Um, this guy is doing nothing from this distance. Okay, boom, beat him, you know? This guy is attacking me from this distance. Okay, I can do different things. But if I'm going too much into the distance, it's dangerous for me. Maybe I'm successful, but it's risky. So that's the point. So 10 times, one, sorry, one, two, three, 10 times. And after try to do in a dynamical way. And after you, we will go to the next step. Okay, let's go. 
Of course, we have many ways to do this, this kind of techniques, you know. But if my opponent, my opponent usually will be from <clears throat> in this position, more or less in this position. If my opponent are doing the right angle here, then it's not work, you know. When the right angle is here, try to attack the face. It's not working because it's covering the face. So we must attack down, not up. But just in case, right now, we will consider that, because after we will see the solution for this, you know, but not now, we'll, we'll step by step. So, if he is attacking one atajo, one atajo, and I stay here, this, this height, you know, not this height, this height, then he can attack to me in this way and beat me. So we will defend ourselves for one and two. This is the point, you know? This is the point. Right now, we will try to do exactly the same from here. For one, you attack to me, and I move in this way. Obviously, if you attack in this way, we are equal. Okay, nothing happens. We are alive, so it's not a good, not a good point. But sometimes, if you can see the blade of your opponent here, come here can be stupid because he is free, you know? The most of the times I try to continue on controlling the blade with this. This is important, you know? I'm not risky because I'm not doing this. Remember that we are talking about no protection here. I, am, I stay in the middle of the blade, not here. Here is risky, but here not. So my way is Fran Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm coming here. So from here, then you, with one step, with one step, with the left, with one step, you can control me, something like this, you know? One, no, no, move, move, move. From here, move. One, two, the, and continues moving all the time. Because as more far away, more far away is the, the point, you know? This is another possibility. And after we will talk about the, the height protection, you know? So try to do this, one, two, attack. And the other said, okay, and attack at the same time, you know, using the right angle. In this case, we're using the right angle like a protection and a, like an attack in the same way. So try this. Uh, so come here one moment, a little bit close, because we, I must explain some things. Um, the explanation of this is, it works when the lines are perfect for this. If not, you must to change the technique. Then, imagine that we are fighting, you know, and then Chris, and then Chris, do this, you know, do this. And obviously, my reaction for covering my face is this. Not only because he will do this, it's because my face is not protected. So, when he come here, I said, oh, fuck. This is my reaction because he can beat my face, he cut, cut my, myself, for example, from here, if they're doing this, you can cut. Well, yeah, with the false age too. It's true, this is very interesting for us, you know, mostly for you because you are uh, learning the, the Bolognese the style. In the Stretha, nobody talks about the use of the false age, except Godinho. Godinho, sorry, the Stretha, uh, Figueredo. Figueredo used the, the use of the false age, but using, if you are attacking to me with a thrust, He's talking about the use of the full sage, or includes the use of the full sage from here to here. And yes, in case, what? Well, after we will talk if we have time about this, you know. But in, in this case, he can, from here, if my hand is here, you can move to this side and cut myself. Bam. It's easy. I will do, you know. I do in this one, two, chop in the face, you know. And it's not very difficult to do this. It's usually, and the natural reaction of the other guy is cut in the face, it's not attack to you. So, my natural reaction of this, it's extending. So, I'm covering my upper part, as you before, you know. So, attack to me. In this line, attack me. <laughs> Nothing happens. So, well, when you have an open window, so the idea is from here to here to here. But for you, it's very difficult. Why? because your line, it's here. Remember, your line is here. As far away, it's not important the part of your body, you can go with your head too, <laughs> or with your hand. No, as here is here, here is here, you know, but this is the point. Move in this way directly from here to here, exactly, that's the point. 
as more. Try to do this, you know. So the exercise is one, two, three. And look, I, I'm saying this. One, two. No, 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 two, two. One, two, not two. If I am doing two, I'm, co I, I'm protecting this, but my face is wonderful for you, you know? So we are fighting, I extended you, and, you know, and then it happens, you know? We know, and this technique, to be honest, is very difficult. Usually it don't work, works the other one. This is the quarter of circle, use much more better the, the half circle, but we can't do the half circle after, you know? But remember, one, two, three, this idea, let's go to be a little bit more dynamic. So my point right now will be, uh, we are doing a little bit dynamic. So I come in here, you extend it for defend yourself. For example, one, and then, no, no. Extend it to me for defend yourself, not attack me. One, two, and then I try to do. The most of the times you will not be able to catch here because this is very difficult, you know? So it's not important. You continue moving one, two, three, and then move to this side, you know? This is the point move from, <laughs> from this side this probably don't work so try continuous moving you know you have different possibilities you can do uh, with one finger with two fingers to be honest with two fingers like in the modern times it's much more easy finish absolutely Niles up, and in this case, it's not bad. You know that I said all the time, Niles up, nice down, never, 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 but never, never said never. <laughs> like James Bond, you know? But with one finger, it's not, it's not very easy. It's more uncomfortable to the hand. So with one finger, it's good to do this, you know, from here, and in this case, quarter, nice up. It's much more better with one finger. But you can do nails up, why not, you know? You are protecting yourself and then, uh, but continues moving. Ba, bam, and try, you can try to do this. As he knows how will be my next step, you are doing this, and of course you can parry this, you know? One, two, no, no, remember. So one, two, and then boom. If the guy try to parry here, half, uh, half reverse to the face. Probably don't kill him, but probably is not nice. So try to do this a little bit more dynamic, you know, a little bit more flexible. Not necessarily hard, not necessarily fast, but a little bit more dynamic. Because the most of the times, catch with the kilo is not possible or it's difficult. So if you can catch with the kilo, you need to have a reaction for defend yourself, you know. So try to do this the last, because I, I think we have no time for, for more. So try a little bit. Because we are 10, 10 minutes after, so, so uh, not only for explaining one, some things, you know. Come here one moment. Uh, in this period, probably we can see, as I said in the morning, we can see the techniques uh, probably a little bit more bigger than the modern period, you know, and probably the stance, the body position was, was more upright than usually. In my opinion, we must understand this fencing, you know, because most of, the, of you will try more in cap heels in the modern way, you know, more than this. And includes the main, the main in Academia de Espada is the cap hilt of the modern times. But for understand the fen fencing and after to apply fencing, we are, must understand the evolution of the things. And I think it's a lot of information for us and understand. So we, I think that we must understand this kind of fight in one middle period from the Bolognese, old Bolognese style, you know, all the Bolognese things, then this kind of sword was a little bit more longer, longer than the others, and probably the fight was a little bit more narrow than the big movements of before, and a little bit more bigger than the future, you know. So we must understand that this is a rapier, this is not a real side sword, so I will use more thrust, and after I will, I will use cut against my opponent. So it means that I will try to control the blade. I will try, if I can try, yes. And from there, yeah, exceeds the cut. Yeah, if I try, it, oh yeah, that's the point. From here, and then, and as the blades are heavy, all the things are bigger than the other. And not with the capillaries. 
of course, with the cabil you can do cuts, you know, but the point is this. So this is because this is the sort of the Renaissance and we are talking so a little bit, uh, thing, a uh, thing a little bit more old, uh, older than the other. So finished for today, I think, because it's too late. So thank you very much. I'm so sorry for the boring thing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks to you.